Welcome back to another Painted by Fame. I'm gonna get right into this look by priming my lid using Painterly. If you happen to be a little bit more of an olive skin tone or fair and prefer yellow, you can use Soft Ochre by MAC Cosmetics as well. So what I like to do to redefine a lid is to use a lip pencil or an eye pencil and I go above the socket line. I do this for every Miss Fame look. It just really creates the exaggeration that I look for in this type of makeup. Using a shading brush, I'm just going over that line to buff out those edges and I'll follow through by setting it with a mid-tone shadow brush and using the Kat Von D palette in several shades. I'm going to gradiate with a smaller brush down to a smaller brush to get the perfect definition on that socket line. What was I saying now? It's all a mayhem now. All automators down. All automators down. What was I saying now? It's all a mayhem now. Using a large flat shading brush, I'm applying a matte shadow directly to my new lid. Me bring the rockets. I bring the rockets. Watch me bring the rockets. I bring the rockets. Watch me bring the rockets. Now my gravity defying and age reducing trick that works on every drag queen facelift tapes i highly recommend learning this trick to elevate literally your mug once my tapes are applied i go directly into my foundation application i neutralize my beard shadows by using an orange color and then i go directly with my tv paint stick and my color 4w all over the face and just below the jawline the place is packed so every ice cube melts now thoroughly blending that foundation out using a damp beauty blender, making a few funny faces along the way to get in all those little nooks and crannies we have under the eyes and around the mouth are key. I bring the rockers. Now to brighten up the face, I'm gonna use Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX01. This is my forever always favorite product. It's bright, it's beautiful, it's full coverage. Those are things that I feel every makeup artist needs to have in their kit. and mindfully blend all these areas as not to disrupt the structure that you've created. Let's burn this mother down like on NYE. We bring the ruckus in the place to be. Contour your face, starting at the forehead, getting into the cheekbone and jawline. This is gonna minimize my structure. I have a very strong square jawline and I like to make my chin look as narrow as possible so I do a bit of a upside down triangle and it makes it look more heart-shaped and feminine and flattering. Uh, nose is one of those things that everybody really wants to understand. Be very careful as not to make this look muddy. A little light application on the sides of the bridge, at the tip, and also on the sides of your nostrils. Blend carefully and you can get a perfectly structured face without it looking overly done. Now we're gonna set all those bright spots on the face with this gorgeous loose powder by NARS. I really liked using a brush to lightly apply first and then using a powder puff to really press it and mold it into the skin to meld both that cream foundation and also the powder as one. It gives a gorgeous silky finish. Yeah, I'm spilling it. Call me Disco B. Now to set my contours, I use a larger, giant, fluffy brush and a deeper shade loose powder. I just go over all of those contours and then I'll take my powder puff and tap everything together as one. They are different colors, so they will need a different shade to complement them to finish it beautifully. I place my order cause it's my turn in the queue. What? No doubt about it, bass humming, that's the sound. After the face has been baking with those powders, I like to go through and dust a nice taupe contour to re-establish the structure of my face along the forehead, the cheekbones, along the jaw, and a bridge of the nose. That's how you really get this depth of field with the makeup and it really reads flawlessly on camera. Loving this brush and loving this blush. 
Now to add a glow back into the skin on top of the powders, I'm going to be using an Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I'm loving this champagne-y, goldy hue. It just adds so much life back into the skin. It's flawless. This look was all about the details. Minimal, yet manicured details. What I did to prepare for this look was take these brows to a very refined vision and what I'm doing to finish with the look is applying a light medium shade right into the hairs and keeping it very simple with a little brow gel and calling it done. Create a base for your lashes by smudging a black eye coal right into that lash line. Then follow through by securing it with a black eyeshadow and a very flat brush. The inspiration for this specific tutorial came from Linda Evangelista, my all-time favorite supermodel. Her Allure cover from 1991 with makeup by my favorite makeup artist of all time, Kevin Aquan. Three steps to the lip, base, line, and gloss, and done. And for lashes, cut stack to custom fit. Thank you guys for watching me create one of my all-time favorite iconic looks. If you'd like to recreate this look, please post on all social media with the hashtag PaintedByFame, as well as follow, liking, and subscribing to my channel. Big kisses from Fame, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye!